Welcome everyone, I'm Angle of the Polish Guy and in this video I will show you a Swipple C2 wormhole setup made by Rancera over on Reddit. After a few weeks of being busy and ill, I'm finally able to come back to making EVE videos. Ranzera sent me this fit over a month ago and I found it fairly interesting. Comparing to the Drake setup I showed off before, this Swipple tanks similarly but does a lot less damage. Its benefit is that it applies the damage to everything easily and doesn't even have to tank everything thrown at it. Let's look at the fit itself. I need to say that this isn't a new player friendly setup since it needs fairly high skills to fit everything. First off, in the high slots we have 4 200mm T2 autocannons. I'm not sure about their ideal ammo setup since I'm not experienced with projectile turrets but uh, hail seem to work really well at 5km falloff and 1km optimal range. Next is the expanded probe launcher. It really helps to have the capability to use combat probes in wormholes for some PvP encounters. In the mid slots I deviated a little from the original proposal. My character doesn't get enough CPU and grid for the full fit if I were to use T2 medium shield extenders, so I use faction ones instead. Next is the 1MN afterburner to move around the sides faster since the range is really low and then adaptive field to up the tank in some situations. The low slots are 3 shield power relays and a gyro stabilizer. Rigs are 3 core defense field per T2. Overall this setup does around 240 dps damage and tanks 330 or so dps. The raw stats are comparable to the Drake setup, but this people has only 20% of the Drake's signature radius, which makes it capable of tanking a lot more. The price is also fairly similar. So, let's go over how it works out in actual combat. My first sight is fairly easy, a parameter hangar anomaly. My first apparent issue on the warpin is getting in the range. I have to fly for some time before I start actually shooting. The issue persists with other rats since I have to fly target to target. One of the issues I noticed is that I have to fly this fit in a particular way. I can't just approach the target since my angular velocity would be low and I would get way more damage applied on myself. When I start orbiting though, my low signature radius and high speed make the rats miss a lot and I don't even have to run my shield module a lot of the time. Here you can see what a bad angular velocity management does to me. A lot more damage gets applied and my shields start to melt so I have to alter my cars. With that I regen quickly, get into range and start fighting. As you can see, the rats miss a lot while trying to hit me, which shows how effective sick tanking is. Despite the wave outputting way more DPS than my shields can handle, my ship barely takes any damage at all. For the last rat of the last wave, I decided that keeping myself in tank mode wasn't necessary. The only damage I get from this battleship comes from the missile and even that is diminished by my SIG radius so I am in no danger at all. My shields don't even go below 90%. 
With the last rat killed, it was time to gather the loot. For the next site, I decided to gather everything as I was killing to be more time efficient. I didn't take an MTU and salvagers because I wanted to test out the combat capabilities of the ship, but this would add some more ISK efficiency to the site. The site took me around half an hour, including loot gathering for around 15 million or so in ISK. Not the best result, but it was the first try. Let's move to other sites now. Before that, I also died. I was stupid and disregarded combat probes. Moving on to a different day, the next site is an Assecured Perimeter Comms Relay data site. And here I set up a better warping spot to have less issues with range control at the start. One of the issues in this site is the nooting by the rats. I quickly ran out of capacitor which means I can't tank as well. My gun still works since I don't use cap and my shields still hold even when I switch to propulsion mode and that shows that sick tanking here is really effective. The sweeple can take on a lot more than I initially thought it would. The frigates have the most ability to damage me because of their speed and tracking, but with this setup I can get rid of them quickly. The next wave went by similarly and after grinding down the battleships I looted the last wreck. In total it was around 20 million or so for half an hour of fighting, probably a lot more ISK if I were to salvage. The last site I wanted to test are the ruins of Enclave Cohort 27, because of the large amount of frigates here. The damage application of the frigates was way better than other rats, but the raw damage output wasn't enough to threaten me and the ships died of easily. Fighting at a distance in the next wave brought my angular velocity down and I got a lot more damage applied to me. After closing in, the rats started to miss and I could fight properly even with speed mode engaged. After grinding down the last cruisers, I got around 10 million or so total loot for around 16 minutes of work. I didn't have the time to do more sites, but I decided that I tested the fits sufficiently. I can say that this fit somewhat surprised me with how effective it is. Comparing it to the other solutions, it's also more fun to fly. Drone and shield management get exchanged for angular velocity and mod management, which really changes the dynamic of running sites. If I were to play with it further, I would take an MTU and Mobile Depot with me for salvaging and PvP capability. The versatile nature of this people allows for a lot of fun encounters and so on. If you want to test the fit for yourself, I'll link it in the description. 
Special thanks to Ranzera for making this fit and sending it my way. So, if you want to see more of my IF videos, consider checking out my channel and subscribe to keep up with what I upload in the future. That's it from me today, see you next time!